Welcome back everyone, this is Angelo Zitis from RNFX with a brief update on the oil market. The star event of the oil market takes place in Vienna Thursday the 6th of December when the OPEC Plus group will be meeting in order to decide future steps and actions. The head producer of the group, Saudi Arabia, has made it clear that oil production cuts may need to be applied from January. In previous months, the Saudi Kingdom indicated it was interested in a higher price range reaching above $60 per barrel, and so a reduction in supply could be the way towards the desirable price. A crucial point for the upcoming meeting could be if the Saudis and fellow producer Russia will be agreeing or not on a decision to cut production. During 2018, the Saudis and Russians strengthened their relationships by cutting production, but also creating a deal solely between them to reach certain targets involving their activities within the oil industry. Now, however, we are seeing some resentment from Russia's side as the Russian energy minister has stated in the past that they are not sure if a production cut is desirable for the time being, even though Saudi and United Arab Emirates energy ministers agreed in the previous days that a rebalancing in global oil glut is needed for this to take place, all producers must be in favor and Russia's position would be key in reaching such a decision. Another development on the OPEC front was Qatar's unexpected decision to withdraw from the group just days before the OPEC meeting in Vienna. Reports make reference to the frustration of small producers towards the OPEC group and the decisions made by the largest producers like Saudi Arabia. It is indicated that OPEC's current operation may not be in line with Qatar's interests. According to an Iranian official who commented on the news, supply cuts should be made from producers that had increased output, pointing at the kingdom, which in our opinion is a very accurate recommendation. It could be most probable that Qatar has more to gain proceeding with solo oil activities instead of being part of OPEC. In fact, According to Reuters, Qatar's energy minister said on Monday his country has reviewed ways to increase its activities globally and has a long-term strategic plan in place. In the upcoming meeting, OPEC may have to make changes or reconsider the way minor producers are dealt with in order to avoid further departures and improve relationships. On other news, the Xi Trump deal at the G20 meeting, which decreased the risk of tariffs, could possibly help resume oil transactions between China and the US after a long postponement due to the dispute they had. Interest of Chinese traders in US oil supply could increase and more specifically, Chinese oil trader Unipec could restart US crude shipments to China by March when the 90-day seas period is over. With oil prices at yearly lows and US oil production at very high levels, it makes absolute economic sense for such interest to be in play. Let's not forget China bought on average 325,000 barrels per day of crude, counting only until September of 2018 before imports fell to zero in October. And so this could be a restart of a procedure only on better terms. As a conclusion, we would like to stress some vital points regarding the upcoming meeting. If the OPEC Plus group decides to cut production, the next crucial question is by how much? Analysts are making scenarios of a 1.2 to 1.5 million barrel per day reduction. But the reliability of these forecasts is questionable. On what basis are these forecasts made and when do these production cuts come into play? The OPEC meeting will provide some light regarding the oil industry's gloomy future. From everyone here at IronFX, best wishes for solid trading.